Hello guys, welcome to another video where we are continuing my journey to find another great book to read. I have decided for myself that 2022 is going to be the year that I just read whatever I like and don't get too distracted by whatever is popular and whatever people are hyping up, but just really start thinking, okay, but what is something that sounds good to me? What is something that really fits my reading taste instead of reading books just to see what the hype is about? I think we've all been there. Now, what are some ways that you can find new book recommendations? Personally, I mostly just get my book recommendations from people screaming about certain books on the internet, Twitter, etc. It's not very personalized. Secondly, you can get your book recommendations from Goodreads. Technically, the whole point of Goodreads was that it would give you personalized book recommendations. They're not very good. I don't think anyone ever looks at these. But what is, in today's day and age, the perfect low-key, high-key concerning predictor of all of your likes, your dislikes, your hopes, your dreams, and probably some insurance information. The TikTok algorithm. How it works on TikTok is you just scroll through the endless infinity loop of content and just based on how long you look at everything and what you like, the algorithm super quickly understands what kind of stuff you're interested in, what other people who also like your likes also like and based on that you get a very curated for you page and you know there are countless stories of people like finding out things about themselves or TikTok finding things out about them that even other people in their life don't even know the algorithm figures out what you subconsciously like even though you haven't consciously admitted it to yourself you know so i thought what better way to find very perfectly personalized to me book recommendations than on TikTok. Now, I have not been on BookTok that much. I get some book recommendations sometimes, but not much. So we're gonna do a little experiment. First, I'm gonna take a look at all of the books that I gave four or five stars in the past two years and then kind of create a profile of what is kind of the common common denominator among the books that I've liked. And then I'm just gonna <laughs> scroll on TikTok for a while, train the algorithm to give me book content, and then see if TikTok's recommendations are kind of similar to the profile of books that I've liked in the past two years. Maybe it gets it all wrong, maybe it does it better, maybe I find out things about my own reading taste that I didn't even know about myself yet. Who knows? So yeah, I'm just gonna start creating my current book profile based on the books that I've enjoyed. And then I'm just gonna spend a lot of time scrolling on TikTok and I'll get back to you tomorrow to kind of see what my For You page has become and what TikTok has recommended to me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little screen record. So <laughs> I went through my Goodreads and I created a list of all apparently 46 books that I gave four or five stars in the past two years. You know, reading taste always changes a bit, so I didn't want to go further back than two years ago, but I did also include in here some all-time favorites. Let me just explain to you how I classified these books. So here are the titles. First, I looked at demographics, so whether they were young adult, adult, or middle grade, and then I decided to create a, a category called new adult. I know new adult means something very specific and kind of doesn't exist. And it's kind of like a wonky category, but I just categorized everything new adults if it was an adult book, but that very specifically focuses on 20 something year olds dealing with things that are quite specific to 20 something year olds. I feel like if I only do middle grade, young adult, adult, I'm not gonna get as much information out of it than, than if I create a specific tier for adult books that focus on 20 year olds. So that's why you see new adults at so many weird books. Then I wrote down whether it was a character driven or plot driven book. Then of course I also wrote down the fantasy kind of broad and then the likability of the characters. You know some books have main characters that are 
actually most books have main characters that are hero characters you know you are supposed to like them or at least relate to them they're supposed to be good people but then there's also books where the main characters are kind of more gray or just written to be very flawed and kind of unlikable like they're not written for you to relate to specifically in a good way so i wrote that down as well and these are the results let's scroll down for genres nobody is surprised that the most read genre is fantasy <laughs> this color is romance books which is kind of a new thing i have been reading a lot more romance lately and I like it. What I was surprised to see is so many general fiction books. I always say that I'm not really into general fiction, but it turns out that actually a lot more books that I read kind of classify. I was pretty broad with my term general fiction, but I'm already learning things about myself. I read a lot more general fiction than I knew. Almost a quarter is young adult. And then we have new adult and adult. So here you can also see why I made the distinction between new adult and adult because if I didn't make the distinction all of this would have just been adult books but now I can very clearly see that about half of the adult books I read and like are very specifically about people my age struggling with things that people my age might be struggling with. Then the focus is a character driven or plot driven or vibe driven, which is a category that I specifically put in there just for the Night Circus. I actually fully expected this to be mostly character driven, but turns out I still enjoy a lot of plot driven books. Okay, that's something to keep in mind, good to know. And then when it comes to main characters, still most of the main characters that I read are kind of like the hero relatable kind. I really expected there to be more gray slash unlikable main characters because I always talk about how much I love that. But I think that this might simply be because most of the books you're gonna read will have likable characters like that's just what most books are so that's why it's still a lot like horror is my least liked genre but that's just because i rarely read horror and actually when i read horror it does end up in my four or five star list so take it all with a grain of salt okay now i'm gonna do the fun part of this video and just scroll <laughs> on tiktok for a while and then tomorrow we will check back see what the algorithm has decided about me okay i've been scrolling through a lot of tiktok <laughs> and the for you page has really said for you let's go through them and create a list of books that i might want to check out in 2022. <laughs> i very quickly got on uh, six of crows uh, shadow and bone the tv show and the books tiktok which i cannot show you because they will be like copyrighted but i like that tiktok very quickly was like you like shadow and bone and everything libra do go first let's talk about the three things that i noticed about book talk First off, TikTok has shown me so many books that I have never heard of. It's actually surprising me because I am on book internet all the time, like book Twitter, booktube. I constantly hear people talking about all the new releases, all the new books, and somehow TikTok has still managed to show me books that I've just never heard of. The second thing um, that I noticed is what I like to call the wall of Sarah J Maas content. At first, it was going really well, so it started showing me some very, you know, like specific unknown books to me. And then at some point, it's like the algorithm noticed, oh, you like books, that must mean that you love Sarah J Maas. So here's all the content. <laughs> I've read some of Sarah J Maas books. I'm personally not a fan. I just know that her stuff is not for me. So I was just like, I don't need to see all this. But TikTok was like, nah, -uh -uh. you have to watch a Court of Thorns and Roses content. You will not get away with it if you don't watch it. So no hate to anyone who would like Sarah J Maas. It's just not really my thing. And sometimes I wish I, I loved Sarah J Maas books because there's so many people making fun content about her characters. And it's been so long since I've just absolutely been in love with the story and its characters that has an active fan base making online content. Like, Oh, I wish I had that, honestly. I think I'm currently only obsessed with 
<laughs> Genshin Impact and its characters, but that's a game and not a book. Anyway, the third thing that I noticed is that a lot of the recommendations on TikTok are just people showing the books that they loved or showing books that they think other people should read without explaining what the book is about. So many videos with just people showing covers of books they recommend and I'm like, okay, but what is it about? How can I decide if I'm gonna like this or not? And I know the original goal of this video was to find books specifically interesting to me uh, that I won't read just because they're popular, but I really think TikTok in a way exaggerates the problem of popular books only becoming more and more popular and making it hard to find new books because it's less about, oh, what is the book about? and more about which book do I just see more often on my For You page. So now let's take a look at the book talk books that TikTok has recommended to me and that I gave a like because I thought they were kind of interesting. And then based on that, we'll make a list and you guys can all judge me based on the content TikTok has shown me. And you can also tell me if it's the type of content that you also get or if I'm in some kind of niche. This is actually the first TikTok that got recommended to me. I also watch her YouTube channel, by the way, but it's perfect because I love Arcane, so I need to keep these books in mind. Oh. <laughs> I've read the book. <laughs> That's the cover. <laughs> This sounds amazing. <laughs> this was the first one that I was like, wow, that's very specific. <laughs> I don't even know what this book is about, but I want to look that up and write that down because it sounds super interesting. The caption is millennial fiction with unreliable female protagonists. They sound really cool. So this, I think, really fits you know, when I said, when I was looking at my reading profile that I expected more books with kind of like unlikable or great main characters, but it still turned out to mostly just be hero main characters because that's just what most books are. I'm really happy that TikTok is recommending me books with more like great main characters. I've seen people talk about a certain hunger before, saying that it's like the female version of Hannibal, the TV show, so... I love Hannibal, the TV show. It's one of my favorites. So I am now very interested in this book. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Here's another recommendation video that is just full of books I've never heard of or have kind of heard of, but that I do think might be interesting to me. So I am interested in her. I've read her other essays. Don't know this. Want to read this. Joan Didion. I heard about this one, kind of, same author, and these I haven't heard of at all. Gonna keep these in mind. I also got a lot of just like discussion videos about books, like this one is a really long one about Pita and how we've all been like underestimating how good of a character he is. I really agree with it. It's like three minutes, so I won't show it all here, but that is also the type of content that I got on my For You page. More recommendations. Hello. I read a lot of books in 2021. Most of them were bad, some of them were good, and these were the best. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This good is book. the best fantasy series I have ever read. It is revolutionary for the genre, and if you like adult fantasy, you need to read this. Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This literally changed the way that I read and think about literature as a whole. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf was one, one of those books that I literally had to put down every page because my mind was blown by the writing. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. I can never find the words to describe this book. this book. It's short, it's a gothic classic. Just read it. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier is an absolutely haunting gothic also romance tale with stunning writing. And lastly, but not least, The Sword of Kai again, much like The Poppy War, I think this is revolutionary for the genre. It's genre bending, it's perfection, it's heartbreaking, it's perfect, it's self-published. Amazing. So, I have heard of The Sword of Kai again, but not a lot. But now I am definitely more intrigued in this because 
you may have noticed that so far I haven't gotten any fantasy recommendations, even though it is like my most read genre and my most loved genre, but most of the recommendation TikTok gives me is the general fiction. So I was already surprised to find out that general fiction is something that I read more often than I thought I did. And then TikTok just kind of upped that and was like, here are even more recommendations of general fiction that you will probably like. Maybe I should look into that more. Mm, but I do want more fantasy recommendations, so I am gonna keep the Sword of Kaigen in mind. Also, I know it's a running joke by now on this channel that I still haven't read Crime and Punishment. I keep putting it away and picking it up again. Uh, I should probably read it. And this is even funnier because later I found this TikTok. Five tips for reading the Russian classic, Crime and Punishment. <laughs> I really like you. I like you too, Cassie. I like you more. Ew. Oh, this was... <laughs> this is such a specific experience that I have. I've said this before, if the enemies to lovers, once they get lovers, it kind of gets boring. And it's good to know that 70, 70,000 people agree with me. For this one, the caption reads, a hall of creepy, odd, and wonderfully disturbing books. Which is again, exactly what I want. Hello, I got a few book packages in the mail, so I thought we could unbox them together. Now, I've really been in the mood for something just like super gritty, really messed up, something that's gonna make me go, what the fuck did I just read? And preferably have like an unhinged like female <laughs> main character. I know that's pretty niche, but I know that there's books out there. I'm thinking of ending things. This is fairly popular. There is a Netflix movie and I hear nothing but good things about it. Things have gotten worse since we last spoke. I know this takes place entirely in a chat room in the early 2000s between two women and the back says sadomasochism, I've heard about obsession, this one more and often. death. It sounds really good, so I'm gonna write it down. Sophie's World, I know, is about philosophy, but I've been reading a lot of philosophy lately and it has been blowing my mind, so we're gonna give this a try. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit Again. scared to read this one. Um, I've Same only author. heard the most repulsive things about this book, so <laughs> yay. The Monk is a classic and it's about an absolutely depraved monk in like the 1700s, so. Have your plow over the bones of the dead. This won the Nobel Prize for Literature, so it has to be good, I think. Again, so many books that I've never heard of or only heard of before on TikTok and they sound so cool. <laughs> Just want to show you this girl who has gotten Renesmee earrings. I love this platform. <laughs> oh, I also found Peru's Project who I also watch on YouTube. This is a TikTok in where she swears she's not gonna read A Little Life and honestly, I vibe with that. I'm also not gonna read that book. So I still haven't gotten any like fantasy or sci-fi content, but I did get this. Okay. Then, so you know you've crawled into a super niche hole when you get um, a TikTok that has only 300 likes, but I somehow stumbled across like the conspiracy slash real life story of a love triangle between three female authors, including Virginia Woolf. Okay, let's see if I can do this in a voice recording. This is the story of Violet, Vita, and Virginia in a love triangle. Now, Violet and Vita met when they were young. Things definitely started out with a crush and then heated up when they were in their 20s. It was going very well. And then Violet was made to marry Dennis and they were running away together all the time. That's Violet and Vita. Violet hated Dennis. Then Vita got married to Harold. And honestly, that seems like it worked out pretty fine. The trouble starts when Vita met Virginia because Virginia and Leonard, her husband, ran Hogarth Press together. Now in 1923, Vita wrote a novel called Challenge Jeez. about Violet, and then Virginia wrote a novel about Vita called Orlando, and then Violet wrote a novel in response called Broderie Langlaise about so both cool. Vita and Virginia. A real, life love, a real life love triangle between authors. I didn't possess this knowledge before, and I'm very happy that I now do possess this knowledge. How do these fantasy this authors was just funny. make sure that they're not stealing someone else's a blank, a blank, a blank, a cord of teeth and low power, <laughs> a grocery list of shame and panic? You know, maybe not all of TikTok is book recommendations. Sometimes it's just fun when people make relatable content about being a reader. Smash. <laughs> Susie. Wait, what, was, what was the game? <laughs> Smash or pass? <laughs> no, no. The algorithm knows me so well. 
<clears throat> and that was all I got from the past 24 hours. So based on that, I've currently written down books that I really want to read. Bunny, The Sword of Kaigen, A Certain Hunger, These Violent Delights, and Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke. Now these are all adult books, but um, like I said, they're kind of adult books about like 20 something year olds, which is what I'm mostly interested in. No fantasy books except for The Sword of Kaigen, which was honestly the only one that I came across aside from like Sarah J Maas books. <laughs> maybe I don't like fantasy books as much as I say I do because otherwise maybe they would have come on my For You page. Maybe I'm a fraud. <laughs> I think maybe because I just keep scrolling away on Sarah J Maas content the algorithm thinks that must mean I don't like fantasy books. All of these books that I've been specifically getting recommended are about like grey unlikable characters which is exactly what I want but as we saw in my profile it's not really what I end up reading so I'm actually really happy with these recommendations because that's specifically what I'm looking for. I think my conclusion is that TikTok is definitely very good at giving you very specific book recommendations but you do kind of have to weed through the super popular ones that you might that might not be your taste so it's kind of a double-sided coin <laughs> now of course i don't know yet if i would actually enjoy these books and you may have noticed by now this is not a video where i'm going to read the books and then tell you if i like them because i don't read very fast i don't read fast enough to just breeze through these five books and also i have a lot of other books on my shelf that i want to get to first but these are books that I'm definitely going to keep in mind. Maybe in the future I will make a video uh, vlogging my experience if I get around to these books. Let me know what this specific book talk for you page says about me according to you. Maybe you have more books to recommend to me based on me laying bare all of my vulnerabilities showing you my for you page. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little 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 experimenty video and uh subscribe if you liked the video and want to see more. You can follow me on social media if you want. All the plugs, all the plugs. Okay, we've done the plugs. I am going to wish you a very happy rest of your day and I will see you soon in another video. Goodbye.